Learn from those before and continue to explore. There's no limit to how much you can know. Welcome to the Sunset Show and with Bob. Bob Williams. That's me. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you it's very great. much. Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking a lot and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud and we had uh, another guest here in the last show. It was very, very interesting and uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward really talking with you while you Not come out show of the well. field. Maybe you introduce yourself a little bit uh, uh, with, your, with your background to the audience. Yeah, yeah we start, absolutely. We start uh, talking. Yeah, sure. So I, I mean, I'm a really, you know, n nicely varied character. I, I like to think, you know, when when your, your standard HR director, you know, looks at my CV, they normally throw it in the bin as too difficult. Um, I was a manufacturing engineering graduate. Okay. Uh, I specialised in sports equipment for my for my degree. I I, I made the, the first um, sweep action uh, rowing machine. Oh, so where okay. the, row, the wow. rowers like yeah. row like that, yeah. Yeah. but on the rowing machine you pull in and out. I, I, I simulated that that sweep action, and I sold it off to Cambridge so University. That's technology and uh, engineering. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I went from there into quality assurance, so we making sure that everything that was made was made right and everything else. And then I felt the call to go to the army, and I went to the British Army as, a, as an infantry officer for seven years. Okay. And when I realised I wasn't going to be General Bob because there are some guys in the army with brains the size of planets who can. <laughs> play the system perfectly. Uh, I decided to come out and I wanted to go into, into something different. I wanted to challenge myself, I wanted to okay. rebrand myself. And I went into financial services. And uh, I mean, fortunately, Citigroup, um, okay. absolutely okay. fantastic, yeah. recognized me. And they said, right, we'll take you in for your leadership. You know nothing about financial services. I followed someone for four months and they said after the four months, now you deliver. Okay. And, and then started my career. And you know, very interesting career very much in the, in the retail banking side, you know, dealing with you know, high volumes of customers and making sure that they're, they're, we maintain their customer experiences very well and, and everything else. And I rose to the dizzy heights of the Chief Operating Officer okay. in Basque Card, Spain and Portugal. Wow. And that's what brought me here. So, so you located, you live here, you moved here, your life is I did. here. I did. I, I, I came here with Barclays, they put me into Spain and Portugal. I had to do a secondment here in Portugal for a year. Met my wife, got okay. a beautiful kid now, and, wow. and that's me. So I'm, I'm here. Life is here in Lisbon. Well, so we've been we've been to Barclay. Yeah. I did. I was uh, in in New York when Lehman Brothers changed to Barclay wow. on the, the side. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. down on the street when the the banner, the lights were running. Lehman Brothers, Lehman Brothers, Barclays, 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 and the people were coming out. Like, what what a what a time that was. Yes, yeah, this was unbelievable. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now we're where with you, with you. You were not not hurt. Uh, by the time you no, had, uh, I wasn't even in Barclays at that particular time. Okay. Uh, but I, but I had friends who were in Barclays. I had friends who were also in big companies like AIG, okay. who were also in massive problems. You know, yeah. waiting to see what how much bailout they would get, yeah. and, and literally just waiting to see whether you know in the next day they would open up and the business would be would be extinct. Right. Yeah. And, you know, amazing time. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So we, we yeah. after all this experience, so you changed your life. Yeah, yeah. Keeping up in different business. So, what was the next uh, the so, next move? So, I mean, like a lot of people, I think you know, the the next step was was a forced step on me. Okay. I, I, I I actually sold the the, the Barclays business that I was in to a to a new bank that was in Spain. I spent eighteen months at that bank before I re I, I became a, a natural synergy of that deal. Okay. <laughs> and it was one of those things. I I, I clung on by my teeth for for that amount of time, I delivered for those guys, you know, all of the synergies of the deal that we had, uh, we had done, and then they said, right, okay, unfortunately there's no place for you. So I entered in, into the, into the okay. big wide world. Okay. And it was one of those, you know, I was 45 at the time, and you kind of sit down and you think to yourself, right, okay, what is, what is really important here? I've got a lot of energy and, and, mm -hmm. and, and free thinking, do I want to jump straight back into the corporate world? Or can I take everything that I've done now into other areas and, and help other people? And you know, for in a fortunate position where I could take some time to assess that and really think about what I wanted yeah. to do to um, to really you know make the rest mess of rest of my career more fulfilling from a personal perspective a lot of rather than just professional. A lot of people should yeah. really think what, about what it. What have absolutely. you done in between? What was the time you were thinking or resting? Uh, what have you done in that time? What was was there a strategy behind, or was just kind of Let's see and wait. Yeah. Go to the annotation. 
I, I, I'll be brutally honest. You know, the, the, yeah. the initial strategy was panic. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, geez, yeah, this, yeah. this is it. You know what yeah. happened? It's it's that, not helping, right? that, that, that regular monthly salary cushion yeah. was just yeah. you know pulled from under your feet, yeah. and you've got to really think think fast. And and then it and then it turned into right now. Calm down. You know, you've got you've got a bit of a buffer here. Let's let's really start thinking about what what is what is it. And I think the first strategy was okay. And this is something which I think everyone should learn while they're in their corporate businesses. Mm-hmm. Make sure that you maintain a good network. Yeah. Because I jumped out and my network was everyone who was in that in that business and the people who have been in the businesses before that. And locally I was like, oh, yeah. just a minute. Yeah. And I suddenly had to start really thinking about how you build that up. And that takes time in itself. So that, that it, it became right, now I've got to get myself out there, get myself understood to a lot of people in the local area yeah. and really you know, start start making sure they know what what Bob yeah. is and that the Bob is there. But that's a that's a real that's a real problem. Uh, it's a, a certain time around three months if you out of a business and you're not important for some people anymore, um, they get less and less and they they, they don't call you anymore. Yeah. They're not invited to the barbecue or <laughs> the bar anymore. It's nothing they can gain. Uh, from you, uh, and then you disappear step by step. Uh, That's true. Uh, it, it's this time. It's a little bit easier with all the social networks, but that time was a little bit different, right? We yeah, had yeah. to keep up with the people calling them, or maybe going to some events, meeting them. But if you're not interested, ninety-nine percent, you're only interested if you do something, you can do something, or they can get something from you. It, it, it's social. Yeah. Sadly, sadly yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, people who you really consider. As close friends, yeah. suddenly you know they they, they yeah. disappear. The emails dry up, the yeah. SMSs dry up, and everything else. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. It's, it's it's a really strange scenario to be in as well because you become the guy who received the emails, mm-hmm. and you were like, I'm not going to deal with that person. Yeah. To the person who's sending the emails and getting the, the either no reply yeah. or a flat, right. you know, yeah. no reply, yeah. and and it, it, it it's a very difficult you know sort of transition to make in your life. A lot of the, people break things. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really tough, it's really tough. Yeah. And then you go, especially in some of these banks these days, mm-hmm. where you literally go from meeting to meeting to meeting. You can, you can look at your agenda at the start of the week and you haven't got time for, for lunch at any right. day. Yeah. And you go from that to <laughs> nothing in your agenda. Mm-hmm. Which is a beautiful thing to manage your agenda, but it does take a lot of getting used to. Yeah, it, it really know does. where to put in the appointment you're yep. waiting for and your secretary maybe did all the stuff and you just went there and now it's nothing. And exactly. the secretary. And this can be really interesting for a lot of people out there that the personal experience from people uh, they went up and down and not even down so much but a little break sometimes uh, is for a lot of people a major major things yeah, that yeah. they cannot handle. They, they just have to react, they cannot act. And that that makes a problem for a lot Absolutely. of people. Absolutely. So you you've been in a in a certain point stopping and getting your orientation yeah, right yeah. back. And uh, how, how you how you handle this? Now, again, I, I I'm in that I'm in that situation now where it's all about generating clients yeah. now and everything. Perfect. And yeah. and that's 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 a really tough sort of area yeah. to be in. You know, it's, it's lead generation. It's a sales process. I look internally on myself, and it's the only thing that's missing on my CV. I've never done sales, so mm-hmm. it's something that's, a, that's quite alien. Yeah. I know what I can do. I know what my skills are, and I know, you know, selling myself, marketing myself, is one of the hardest things. Yeah. So help, you know, from from dear friends and, and help from networks and things like that is just so absolutely valuable, absolutely. And, it, and it's looking at yourself and being honest with yourself. I feel. Where it says that this is where I'm weak and this is where I will seek the yeah. help. And, and uh, I mentioned to you uh, in, in a meeting a while back, those are the things you procrastinate on. You procrastinate on the things you know you're probably not good at and you might fail on. Yeah. Yeah. And then so you just avoid them and uh, you sat there thinking, you know, I've, do, I've got to generate 10 new leads. But this spreadsheet looks good. I think I'll just do this spreadsheet. You go, no need to do a spreadsheet, but that's it. And, but, and a week yeah. goes by and you, you think, yeah, it, it can be self-perpetuating. So yeah. a lot of self-reflection now. It just becomes so, so, so important. Definitely. Well, actually, in the end, you always want to feel good. Yeah. And you find all kinds of ways to feel good. Absolutely. Like not doing things Indeed. that you have to do yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. to feel good. That's why a lot of people games and TV and yep. other uh, party stuff is ongoing and they feel good, they're coming up but they have nothing exactly. done. So exactly, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
So, but with your with your experience, uh, you have already you can you can help a lot the companies, and oh, that's yeah. what you're doing actually helping. Yeah. Um, let's say maybe with my words, uh, some more or less blind entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah. Not really blind, but in your in your company, you have so many things to do, uh, and you don't see things. You need outside people coming in. Yeah, yeah. And and, and that's actually where you where you jump in. Absolutely, your absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. The talks and everything. Give me give me an input. What 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 you do? Maybe an example. Uh, what you're doing? What sure. you're doing right now? And, and I mean, the, the example is it, it's the cartoon that many people probably stumbled across. Yeah. Where the guys are trying to pull a cart with square wheels. Yeah, I like. And the guys stood, <laughs> guys stood there with a round wheel, and they yeah. look at him and they say, "No, sorry, we're too busy to yeah. listen." Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that's it. You get so clouded by everything you're doing, and you're running around. You're pulling in the the 14 hour days and it just gets harder and harder and harder yeah. and sometimes you just have to stop and reflect yeah and then that that's that's what my business is about it, it's about just saying hey listen you know you, you've got a business you are you, as i said the part i don't do are the sales yeah but every time you've developed those sales you have to deliver those sales right. and your customers expect yeah, those sales to be delivered perfectly for yeah. them yeah. and they don't care about your yeah. problems they don't care about yeah. anything that's going on internally they don't care if you haven't got the up-to-date system if I buy a camera off you I want a camera that's going to be absolutely perfect end of story yeah. and that's it so I go in and I make sure that once that sale has been made that operate operations to deliver the, the goods to make sure you've got the customer happy, to make sure you listen to the customer, to make sure that you develop with comments that the customer makes, even the good comments. Yeah. Make sure that those get spun around the business so you continuously improve all of the time. To make sure you get the metrics in your business so you can really see the trends yeah. that are good, yeah. that are bad, yeah. and you can act on everything. And it's being utterly transparent with yourself yeah. and making sure that your, your team are transparent with you and that you are honest as yeah, well. That you don't just see a bad trend, right. but you focus on the good trend. Yeah. But you and communicate this to the owner, to yeah. the CEO and whatever, and they have, they have to listen. Yeah. You, you have to, let's say, make them listen. Well, yeah. A lot of people don't want to listen. They don't have time Absolutely. to listen yeah. uh, and to achieve or change things. So uh, I think it's a, a major challenge for you uh, to between these worlds, having the overview inside the company, yeah, yeah. knowing in very deep what's going on, uh, and going up to the top and communicating all the structure down there and what is necessary to do to the people up there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, and that, that, that is the challenge. That, okay. that, that really is the challenge. Yeah, a business owner is proud of his or her business, absolutely. Uh, proud of what they, they have created. But you really have to, you have to start with those people. Yeah. You have to start and you have to say, right, okay, if we're going to do this, it's got to have your absolute commitment. Yeah. And you have to be in the position where if someone has achieved something, but they achieved it in the wrong way, mm -hmm. you're still going to challenge them. Yes. If someone has not managed to achieve something, but they tried it exactly the way that it should be done, mm -hmm. you've got to reward them and help them along. And you've got to live by that. And that has to come from the, the business owner, the CEO. That person has to say, this is the way we're going to have. This is the culture we're going to have in this company. Right, right. And culture is so much more than just a piece of paper. Absolutely. It is the way we're paper. going to operate yes, in this yes, company. Yes. And this has to be repeatedly and communicated to everybody, actually, absolutely, in, absolutely. The, in, the, in the company. And yeah. Most of the people, they don't hear with this year or this year. They don't hear anything. And, and they don't want to know when it's so easy. Like we did it always. Yeah. We did it that way since many, many years. And now somebody comes and tells us we have to do it differently. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. I, I, I yeah. think this is a, it's a challenge. It's really a challenge. It, right? it, it, is, it is a challenge. And uh, you know, all, all I would say to that is that when, when you're looking at a culture, you're hopefully putting in something that 80% of all the workforce already believe in. Yeah. But you're putting in something that, that says, okay, we are going to come together as a family and we're, we're going to do this. Yeah, I don't want to sound, you know, no. you know, weird or anything like that, corporate or anything. But we're a group of people who have a common purpose yeah. that is this. And this is what this business is out there to do. And then we have this common purpose. And we're all going to work together okay. to achieve this common purpose. And the common purpose has to be something that everyone believes in. Yeah. Yeah. And the common purpose has to be something that everyone can work to. Yeah. 
and certainly in startups, when it's so such a you know a, a, on, a, on a delicate knife edge, yeah, you can say you know, you know we, our, our purpose is to do this, and you might have the best salesman in the world who can do this, mm. and that person's knocking at your door, he's passing all these, and you've got to have the 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 commitment to your culture yes. to say I'm not going to take him or her. Mm -hmm. Because if they come in, they're not going to work in our culture. They might be the best salesman, yeah, yeah. but they can disrupt our culture. Right. And you've got to stay yeah. really firm to that. And that even goes to your know, big businesses. All of the banks, all of the big conglomerates are doing cultures these days. But the CEO yeah. has to live it. And Absolutely. not as soon as there's the slightest you know, change <laughs> in, in, in what's going on, yeah. everyone forgets the culture. Yeah. We stick with it, and yeah. it's very much you know probably hankering back to my military days where you set a strategy yeah, yeah. and you go, go after it. Exactly. But yeah. you know the strategy is up here, yeah. and all the battles are down here. Yeah. And the battles can be fought, but as long as they're yeah. fought knowing the way that the strategy is right. going, yeah. you can't go far wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But um, this is a great conversation. I'm I'm really learning a lot, and I think and I hope actually not I'm I'm not thinking. I, I really hope you learn a lot. Uh, question: How how can I find you? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm struggling. I, I'm, I'm really not really know that. I, well, I know that I struggle, but I don't want to tell. <laughs> uh, and and uh, who can I get in touch with you? What what's the best way uh, to reach out to you? That, that we have at least. I think you start with a conversation first with the people. To yeah. Get, to, to know them a little bit better. And absolutely. So absolutely. Where, where can I find you? You're not, you're not standing on the street with a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should. Yeah, Maybe go down, right. to, go down right. to the bank in this yeah, exactly. uh, yeah, whatever yeah, the sandwich board or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, but right. no, I, I'm, I'm on the standard social medias. My, my, my brand is called the Ops Gent. Yes. Uh, and the story behind that was I was talking to an awesome entrepreneur, and he just turned around to me at one stage and just said, "We will always need gentlemen like you." And I just kind of thought, uh, okay. I think I've stumbled on something. Okay. okay. So yeah, so that that bore the Ops Gent. Uh, and it's on it's on Instagram at the Oxgent, it's on Facebook Oxgent, and I am Bob at the .com. You 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 everywhere uh, on the social media yes, uh, yep. to be to be found, and uh, you are organized in, 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 in groups or on networks. You have now, let's say, after the last networks, uh, they didn't work. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well uh, uh, you you joined new networks. Yeah, ab there. absolutely. So um, I, mean, I I joined up with the the British Portuguese Chamber of Commerce, okay. who are absolutely outstanding okay. here. They yeah. really are. I have a gr great yeah. lot of fun with with, yeah. with those guys. They're really you know push, very very keen to push and and to to see see their members do really well. I mean, yeah. it's it's the old classic networking before the the internet okay. came along, and, and they're very good at it. Uh, I'm also a, a member of BNI Connection. Which is, which, is, which is great as well for a weekly catch up, yeah. focus you know, during that time specifically on your network and specifically on, on what you need and what, what you want to get yeah. out of your network. So that, that's, that's really great. And, and then also um, I'm, a, I'm a part of the Be Brave um, Association, which is, which is based out in, out in Qashqai, run by Tim Vieira. And we, we regularly get in uh, entrepreneurs who are pitching to us. Uh, with with some fantastic ideas, and then you see how lost some of them are. I mean, but, but that's standard. Yeah, you absolutely. get someone who has a brilliant idea. You, you can't be a, an accountant, an operations yeah. guy, a risk guy, and everything right. at the exactly. same time. Bring us your idea, yeah. and we, we will help you along. And that's super powerful from uh, from Big Brave. What a collection of talent that okay. is. So so yeah, I, I'm really working hard in those three main areas, and it's, okay. it's really fantastic. So, that's like, Actually, I found you, and um, I came along with my problems. We talked. We had our first conversation. What would be the next step? Yeah. So the, we, we we talk through the, your your problems. We'll talk through a few more, and I'll tease out probably a few more problems that you maybe have. And and what I really want to do is sort of highlight what good looks like for you yeah. to make sure that you know maybe you, you don't even know what what good might look right, like right. so we can we can say okay you, you've got these but we're going to really go in this direction okay yeah. uh, to quote someone from the internet the the, the, the the success of the business is only limited to the ceo's ambition yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. if you're out there saying i'm going to sell 100 this month 
you'll probably sell 80. If you say you're going to sell 1,000, you might sell 800. Right. Right. Yeah? Right. So it's out there being absolutely ballsy and saying, I'm really going to go after this. So that from that point, it is then sitting down and setting things out from the grand strategic perspective. Okay. Something, like I said, that everyone can hang their hat off. Our vision is this. I envision that my business in 15, 20 years will be this. Mm -hmm. Something that is a beautiful dream. The mission is something we are going to achieve. The mission of this business is that we are going to do this. Drop that down to the strategy. In order to achieve the mission, we need to do this, 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 yes. this, and this. The culture of our business is going to be this. In our hearts, we truly believe that we're going to do this, and then we put it down to the values that we're all going to work to. Basically, we draw that out. Get it onto one page that all of the, the business can see, all of the people that you'll be on can see. When you interview someone, you can see that you believe in that. Right. And if, you, if they don't get the right reaction, don't come. Mm -hmm. And then from that, then we've got a strategy right in the middle of that. We know what we've got to, we've got to build. Let's go after it. Let's, let's set out the, the metrics, let's set out the dashboards that will say if we are on track for that. And let's be honest with ourselves. Yes. Off we go. Perfect. And how, how much time an entrepreneur has to, to spend, especially for this elevation, uh, uh, elevate, you, you put all the information in, what, what is the time frame? Uh, he is more or less away from his business, but he's always afraid. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. Well, what, I, what I would really suggest that we do that, because, yeah, of course, bit, you, that, that, that thing, I'm away from my business. Yeah. What's going on while I'm away? I'm, I'm right. taking the person at this stage where they're already nervous. Yeah. So I don't want to say five days, lock yourself in a room with me, you come out a new person. No way. Okay. No <laughs> way. We, right. we've, got, we've got to do this in a, in a yeah. sort of drip feed sort of manner. Okay. We're, we're also in bed yeah. yeah. And this is my big, big thing is that I don't want to consult and say, there we go, mm -hmm. there's that page, I'm off. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. luck, you're yeah. going to be great. You, you know, I've done my bit now. Yeah. It's no, right, that is just the start. Now we just start working with it and we start embedding this into, into all of the things that you do. And all, you know, the continuous improvement is something that's there. I want to speak to you a week later when someone challenged you and you didn't respond in the right way and we talk about that. It goes into a very long coaching yeah. scenario, okay. which is enjoyable as well. Okay. I want to be. Important, the, yeah. I want to yeah. be the phone call that every week you look forward to. Yeah. And okay. the one that you don't think, hey, I'm going to delay this one. Right. Great. You know, we're going to have this chat. I'm going to get. You know, I'm going to feel invigorated again once we've done this, and we're going to go for it. I'm going to feel like Superman. And that, that, uh, that ambition for the company is yeah. going to go on 10% after I've spoken to yes. Bob. Yeah. That, that's a, I that's feel a goal. Yeah, that's a, a goal so, so that's it. The, the initial, we do need a bit of initial time to get the stuff drafted out yeah, and yeah, everything else, basis, but I, yeah. we've got to, I've got to work that out personally with, with the person yeah. that I work with. But then after then, it's whether we do once a week, twice a week, those constant calls to, to just keep things you know, moving along. Yeah. But it's a, it's, a, it's a certain frame, but it's very individual. For oh, all for the sure. Company. And you're working over all different kinds of industries. So yeah, it's not yeah, really related to, to one sector. Uh, of the industry or? I've, I've worked in all sorts. What's, what's been really exciting, I, I work for a company that's trying to re, re envisage the travel search industry. Oh, okay. I've worked with a company that's, that's designing new shoes. Oh, I've, I've, worked, oh, I've, I've worked with a company that, that's, that's looking to you know, do waiters for hire and stuff like that and then talking with, it, with all sorts yeah. because the fundamentals are pretty much always the same. That was my, my next so, question, yeah. actually, you answered now already. Uh, it's, it's similar, or? The problems, the, yeah. uh, the ideas, and w the way they go on a certain point, it's mostly similar. Then somebody should come in and help yeah. to get the right direction and analyze everything. Absolutely. With all absolutely. the experience he has out of other companies and, and, and all these things. Yeah. But this is, this is great. Actually, every, every entrepreneur could wish to have something like you, and I'd like oh, to think so. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I think that's a, it's a, it's a thing. Uh, a lot of people don't have this in mind, and, and a lot of people relate it really with, with coaching. And a lot of ego-driven people say, "Well, I don't need coaching." Uh, yeah, yeah, but they do. They do. We all need it. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's help. It's just yeah, yeah. information I get from experience somebody else already did. Why to make a new path uh, if there is a way already? Uh, uh, well, I like to explore. That's nice, but if it maybe kills my company, yeah. uh, it's not nice. So uh, I, I get my regular weekly, bi-weekly coaching for for sales because yeah. I know okay. I'm no good at it. Yeah, yeah. And it's something that I really need. I need that you know little bit of energy, that little bit of whatever 
to, to just get me firing again on Perfect. sales and stuff like that. Yeah. It, it's it's a really tough gig for me. So wow. yeah, I, 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 I do that every, every now. I get on the phone and the, I, my coach really fires me up and I'm off. So maybe, Fantastic. maybe, well, we ask him here on, on air. Uh, maybe he's doing it. I don't know. If he's not doing it, we cut it off. <laughs> um, uh, maybe you're interested to, to do a kind of, let's say, serious and, and, and give your, let's say, parts of your knowledge to our audience in a certain time range uh, and inform them over certain things and uh, maybe they, they like it Love and they, they say, hey, that's, that, that I have the first step, maybe they can do another step with you and, and you help them, maybe they're inspired by your saying. Would this be something? For great? sure, absolutely. Hey, we yeah. have a deal here. We have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's do, think about it yeah. after, after uh, this evening. Uh, we think what we can do, structure a little, little thing for you. And for the audience out there, there are tons of people out there, they have the, the problems. They don't know where to go. Hey, they don't know where yeah. to go. So if we can hey. provide that first view, then you know, fantastic. So then we, we see us here again. That's, yeah. that's, that's okay, Art? Perfect. We couldn't be happier. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thanks, thanks to you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Get to his webpage, have a look, talk with him. Even, I think, if somebody calls a numinous, and want to know something, maybe he's unsure, don't want to, maybe you talk at least. For I think sure, you help absolutely. a lot of people. I know he helps already a lot of people uh, with some information that they get along and uh, just try it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching The Sensit Show and we see us again, hopefully. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks.